right, welcome to another episode of What's in Your Watch List. We're going to be talking about Rings of Power today. Before we get started on this, go over the basics on this. Number one, everyone's entitled to their opinion. I am as well. So that being said, if you want to have a discussion, comment, anything like that, I have no problem with that whatsoever. If you're coming here with the sole intent to troll, kind of have a problem with that. So we're not going to allow that because we want to have fun and be able to enjoy this for everybody. Now, that being said, the only other thing I need to bring up is that every time I do these things, I go over the episodes that are current on there and then I break them down. So there will be spoilers. So let me go ahead and let you know right now. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. You get the idea. Spoiler alert. All right. All right, so we're going to be talking about Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, Episode 8. This finished out Season 1, uh, this particular episode right here. So, wow. Uh, so much to go over on this one. Um, well, the way they start the episode, uh, my jaw was on the ground. Uh, well, my fiancé and mine. Uh, <laughs> because they start the episode... And the first thing that is revealed in there is that the stranger who has been, you know, going around with the hobbits is actually Sauron. They drop that reveal and then go into the beginning of the show and everything. And it's like, I'm sorry, say again? I looked over at her and I was like, we could stop the entire season right now. And I'd be happy just the way that they did it was just phenomenal. Oh, no, 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 no. That was just a smidgen of what you're that, like Titanic, barely iceberg there. So then we go through the story. We start finding out uh, more about the mysterious three, uh, the uh, the women in white, uh, I guess is what they're called, or the mysterious three in white, whatever they're calling them exactly. They're not good people by any means. They're there to uh, to bow down before Sauron and to help him get his power back and everything. So we've got that storyline going. We also had the storyline going about how over in the Elven Kingdom, they're working as hard as they can to figure out what to do with this little piece of Mithril and expand it to actually use it for something bigger. Well, that's when they start figuring out that uh, they can go ahead and build it with other metals, hence the name of the episode, Alloyed, um, and work that way. The problem is, is whatever they're trying keeps blowing up equipment and destroying certain pieces of other metals and, and just all kinds of messes. Well, Halburn is determined to have this done and comes up with the idea that maybe the metals need to go ahead and meld together naturally instead of you know unnaturally so you really need to do it a lot softer touch than a much harder approach you start getting a feeling that however really wants these things made for whatever reason i've had my doubts but after that first part on there whenever they named the uh, stranger as sauron i didn't see it until uh Gladril asked one of her uh one of her servants to uh, go ahead and look into the history of this guy and find out, you know, where his lineage actually is. Yeah, they found out. Uh, they found out he doesn't exist. So they brought him directly to where all this is being done, uh, just as he wanted to have done. I mean, you see how evil this guy looks right here. That was his plan altogether. But you find out there's a little more to it than that. He actually wants to have Galadriel as his queen to rule beside him. Um, but she uh, she sees past his ruse on there to the point where she knows this is strictly about ruling everybody and not helping anybody. And she decides not to. But... She also decides that there needs to be a third ring that is made up instead of just the two that they were originally going to make. Because one would corrupt, one would go ahead in power, 
and this one would actually bring about the ballots is what they said but they're all incredibly intense about having these rings made up and they do get them made up so there's that part of the story the other part of the story is that the stranger uh, when the hobbits show up to try to help him uh, from these three witches and white whatever we're calling them the hobbits are in danger the stranger is very hesitant to help because he's, he speaks and he's starting to learn the tongue finally and says that uh, he doesn't want to hurt anyone by, by doing his magic again. And the staff that the, uh, the leader in white had was given to him. And whenever he grabs a hold of it, it's no longer darkness that flows through its light. And the leader of the white even says he is not Sauron. He is the Ishtar. And it's too late by then because he goes ahead and banishes them in a very, very cool CGI-ish way. Um, and then we find out that he is not Sauron, that he is the other end of the coin. Like there's two, two sides of the coin here. Dark side, which would be Sauron. The lighter side. Gandalf. So things have gotten very interesting on that end with that happening. And we end it with Gandalf going to Rune to try to figure out who he is and what's going on exactly and try to figure things out that way. And he's taking the, uh, the Hobbit that's been with him the entire time. She goes ahead and decides to go ahead and make the journey with. Him. So they're about to make another journey as Gandalf and Hobbit, uh, they're starting it off this way. Very interesting. Cannot wait to see what's happening with this. Overall, this series really got my attention from the very beginning and carried it all the way through. Yes, it did have some slower parts in there, but those slower parts are in there because you have to get more of the story to figure out exactly what's going on. It can't be action all the time, unfortunately. Uh, but what action they did put in there and what story was put in there really flowed together really well. So overall, I definitely approve of the series. And uh, if you haven't seen it, you need to definitely if the spoilers haven't given away too much for you on that. But share this out. Let everybody know what you think on there. And uh, if you are enjoying this, please remember to like, subscribe and share today so that you'll see more of this content uh, that myself and my fiance are working to create out there. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these episodes. Even though we're done with this particular series, I'm going to end up replacing it with another series, uh, which should be dropping sometime this week. So be looking for that. And uh, I do have She-Hulk will be dropping its last one this week as well. So you'll be able to see that. And Andor went ahead and dropped as well. So you're up to date on that, but still has another six episodes, I believe, in that particular series or season. So... Thank you all for being here. Thank you much for watching, paying attention, and enjoying this adventure with me through uh, Middle Earth in the Rings of Power. And I definitely look forward to a season two because they left it wide open for that to definitely happen. And you better believe I'll be going ahead and reviewing that one as well. So until next time, I always got to ask, what's in your watch list?